Microsoft announces a new plan regarding Xbox and Windows 10 integration. What does this story mean for you? My name is Mooseman and today it's my job to inform you of that very fact on today's episode of Gaming News Weekly. On the last episode of Gaming News Weekly, I informed you all of the possibility of Microsoft starting a new initiative of focusing on PC gaming for Windows 10 over the Xbox. Today I'm happy to announce that Microsoft has confirmed a lot of the information that I speculated on. Microsoft's plan is not only to move Xbox exclusives to Windows 10 like I originally speculated, but they're also turning the Xbox One into a machine with upgradable hardware similar to how PCs are built. This means that games can be more closely designed for PC and Xbox One without needing to worry about the Xbox One's performance being seen out of date, since you have the option to buy an upgrade that allows for upgraded visuals. In my eyes, this is even better than I predicted because now companies will no longer have to restrict their games in order to meet the demands of a console. As it stands, game developers are restricted by consoles because if they cannot sell their games on consoles, they lose a huge amount of sales overall. Consoles, however, still need games to look good and perform well enough to make the game attractive to console owners. This may seem petty, but aesthetics are a huge part of what sells a game. If the game looks like crap on Xbox, then nobody on the console is going to buy it. So instead of putting a huge emphasis on impressive but GPU intensive aesthetics, game developers design games that are meeting a halfway point. With this new upgrade system, developers who produce high graphical fidelity games can require the new upgrade to play at advertised settings. Those who don't care as much about graphics or performance will still be able to play the game at lower settings on a normal Xbox One, but those wanting the best graphics possible will now have the option to spend a bit more money to get them. The biggest advantage of having an upgradable hardware system for Xbox is now using VR headsets on console becomes a real possibility. If you aren't familiar with the requirements of VR gaming, to have a realistic experience Experience, games need to run at 90 frames per second at the very least, and only the latest generations of GPUs are able to put out this kind of performance, let alone a console. Now that consoles are going to be upgradable, instead of a brand new console being released, we could see an Xbox upgrade bundle that includes a VR headset and an appropriate upgrade. This has been a growing question in people's minds as VR looks to enter the consumer market this summer. Everyone has known since launch that both Xbox One and PS4 are underpowered compared to PC, but now Xbox has created a way to push the console's limitations further to the point where VR gaming on the console is a very real possibility. I also mentioned in the last video that Xbox One exclusives were being moved to PC, and currently the only one that has been officially confirmed was Forza 6, but a special PC free-to-play version called Forza 6 Apex. There isn't much more information on what kind of business model Apex will have, however, there has been confirmation that the release will be designed to introduce Forza to the PC market, meaning that it may be an entirely free game used for promotional value. The features of the game are pretty limited. There's no multiplayer, no wheel support, and limited cars, meaning that the game is more like a demo than anything else. All future Forza games will also have a PC release, so it's not entirely far-fetched to think that Microsoft is using Apex as their way to get as many people as possible to adopt both Forza and Windows 10 ASAP. This release is slated for spring, so expect to see a review on this channel when it does happen. While only Forza was announced during the event, this doesn't mean that other games that I mentioned in the last video are off the table in terms of PC releases. Forza and Quantum Break's announcement of being available for PC is probably due to their release date, so keep an eye out for further announcements as we go through the current year. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Gaming News Weekly. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more news, reviews, and other gaming commentary. Don't forget to leave a comment down below as this big announcement by Xbox is something I want to discuss. Are you concerned for the console that's slowly melding into a PC? Or are you happy about the possibility of more games coming to both platforms? Finally, if you haven't seen the last episode of Gaming News Weekly, I recommend you check it out as that video was before the big announcement and does contain additional information as to what other things Microsoft might be hiding. Or you can always check out a review of mine, the last one being a review of Factorio, an isometric factory building game that puts your engineering and survival skills to the test.